Hello everyone, this is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a set of salt and pepper shakers in a boat shape. In this project, we are going to use hand building technique. So first, we need to roll out a slab of clay. Then I print off this 3D triangle shape from the website Template Maker. I'll include the link in the description below. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. After cutting the shape on the slab, I use my knife to lightly score on the template where the fold line will be. I need to cut out two of these because one is for salt and one is for pepper. The next thing I need to cut out is the base. The oval is the top of the base and then the long strip is the side of the base. I like to use my ruler to cut along any straight edge to make sure it is straight. Now here comes the assembly part. Remember the score line I did earlier? Now we need to make the score line deeper and bevel the edges. I need to make sure that I'm only cutting a little bit down the clay and not entirely through the clay. Then I'm using my knife to cut a 45 degree angle to bevel the edges. I need to bevel both sides of the fold line. Then I need to remove the clay along the fold line. After that is done, it's time to score and slip the joints. I'm applying slip along all the joints because the slip acts as glue for the joint. After the slip, I just fold them gently. It's kind of like origami. I'm using light pressure to press the joints together. All the flaps fold up really well because I've used slip to join the lines. Now let's fix the other side of the triangle. See all the little wrinkles on this side? I'm using slip to put on the edges. Then I'm using the flat edge of my wooden knife to run along the line of the fold line to create a sharp edge. I also use the pointy end of my wooden knife to smooth out the inside edges. Now I'll cut out the last side of my triangle. First, I'll place my triangle on the slab and then I'm using my knife to trace it out. Once I have traced out my shape, I'm using a bevel cutter to bevel the edges. Then I'll score and slip both the triangle and the slab so that they are joined well together. Then it's time to assemble them together. Looks like they fit really well. After that, I'm using a little bit of slip to smooth out the edges and then using my wooden knife to blend the edges well together. Here's my little triangle. Next, I need to build the base. I'm scoring the edges and then putting some slip on. Then I'll attach the long strips along the edge of the space. These two long strips will be the side of the base. After attaching the sides, I'm using some slip to smooth it out. Then I'm using my wooden knife to create a sharp edge on the side. It's time to cut out the hole for the rubber stopper. First, I need to trace the outline of the rubber stopper. Then I'm going to use my knife to cut out that circle. I know that my clay will shrink after firing. That's why I'm using the outside diameter of my rubber stopper as the size for the hole. And I got my rubber stopper from my local pottery store. Here's what it looks like and I'm just fitting it in to see how it looks and looks really flush on the surface, which is great. Next is to create the holes for the salt and pepper to come out. I'm just using a sharp bamboo skewer to poke the holes. 
and then I'll smooth out the edges. I don't want the holes to be too big so I think the size of the bamboo skewer would be perfect after firing. Here's what they look like before bisque firing. After bisque firing, it's time for glazing. I'm using masking tape to create pattern for one of the sails. The masking tape will act as a recess for the underglaze that I'll be painting and it's easy for putting on and taking off. I'm putting the masking tape on so I can paint a straight edge. I'll be using Coyote's light blue underglaze to paint the top part of this and the bottom part of this. As you can see, even though I'm putting underglaze on top of the masking tape, it'll still be fine after I take it off and I'll still have a straight edge. When you're painting with underglaze, make sure you paint on two to three coats to have a solid and bright color. As for the base, I'm using Spectrum Walnut Brown to paint the outside and the top of the base. Since this is underglaze, I can paint all the way to the bottom without worrying that it will stick to the shelf. After the underglaze has dried, I'm removing the masking tape to show you how it looks. After removing all the masking tape, don't forget to brush on three coats of clear glaze on top. Here's the final result of my salt and pepper set. What do you think of this project? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.